Nikki T here with Muffs and Mullets 2020 and the Mullet Mafia in Lincoln, Montana, doing a new series that I'm starting where I go to different bars and try the best Caesar slash Bloody Mary that bar has to offer. And I figured what better place than my favorite little town in the world, Lincoln, to start it out at some of these small hometown bars. First stop is the Bootlegger Inn. Terrific breakfast. I want to see how their Caesar game is. All right, first Caesar here at the Bootlegger Inn in Lincoln, Montana. Let's give it a shot. Not a whole lot to it. The booze is a little heavy, so if you're looking for something to take off the edge for the night before, this is top notch. It's not loaded with a whole bunch of different flavors, like not a lot of horseradish, not a lot of Worcestershire, or whatever you say it. Decent taste, though. You can definitely drink more than one of them. Depends how you like your Bloody Marys or your Caesars. This is not an overbearing one. Presentation's not bad. You got your pepperoncinis. You got a pickle in there. Give them a 64%. Yeah, 64. All right, so the next place we're gonna go is about 100 yards, if that, down the road, and that is Lampkin's Bar. I remember they had this jar with some infused peppers that they used for the vodka and Caesars and Bloodies, so we're gonna see how that actually tastes. All right, second stop is Lampkin's Bar here in Lincoln, Montana, already. It comes in a red Solo cup, and I don't know why, but I just feel right drinking out of a red Solo cup. Same thing, pepperoncini, olive, lime, Asparagus chunk. Let's try it. Right off the bat, it's a little spicier, which is how I like mine. Also, not overbearing with a lot of flavors. Not a lot of horseradish in this. Not a lot of Worcestershire. Not a lot of other secret ingredients they might have that might make theirs, you know. Pretty par for the course. Definitely could have a couple of these because it's pretty light. Um, just because it's spicier, I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a 60, no, 71. C minus 71 percent Lampkins Bar in Lincoln, Montana. All right, so I was only going to do two places, and then I realized I wanted to mix it up a little bit, and we got into town later than I wanted to be. So actually, another bar is open right now, and this is the Wilderness in Lincoln, Montana. Also, like all these bars are, are within like a hundred yards of each other, which is super nice if you want to bar hop. So this is the Wilderness. Let's see what they got. All right, final stop in Lincoln for the day: the Wilderness Bar. Uh, I guess that's in a triangle of the last three we were at. Doesn't look like a lot of things here. A little asparagus, that's all that we got put in there. Now they make their Caesar mix pre-mix, so it's already ready to go. Also, another pretty mild Caesar. It's got a little more spice than the bootlegger. Probably about the same as Lampkins had. Again, um, nothing super overbearing with a lot of extra flavor. Something you can just have more than one of. Again, all these things are right around that 67%. Pretty basic here at the Wilderness Bar, but definitely good enough to have more than one if you're looking to, you know, take that edge off. All right, so I lied. We're on our way back to camp, and you, like, you can't not stop at the wheel. If you've never had a wheel burger, if you've never met the owners, if you've never had an experience playing horseshoes outside here, you haven't had Lincoln. So we've got to see how they're doing. Last stop of the day, wheel in. They made me a Bloody Mary first, and then I was like, no, I need a Caesar. So then they had to make another one. Uh, first one, they actually put pepper in it. So I actually noticed no one else put pepper in the top of theirs. So let's see where they go up. The hands down best one I've had all day today. Looks like there is some horseradish in there and some other flavors to add a little bit of kick to it. You know, a little bit extra flavoring, if you will, to make it, you know, not such a basic generic, which is fine on sometimes when you want to have a couple of them and end up just drunk as shit again in the morning, which happens. But if you want to go down, grab a Caesar, make your head feel a little better, see all the stuff they actually have in here. It's loaded up. Not as much of a garnish. Got a uh, pepperoncini and a pickle. No pepperoncini. I lied. There's just two olives and a pickle. <laughs> Look like a cack and balls. We in her today. Wheel in. I'm going to give them a straight up 77%, maybe even 78, top knot. 82, 82. Hold on. I know you're only supposed to take one drink of it, but we'll go 84, maybe even an 86. Yep. It's right there. That's really good. That's an awesome Caesar. Best Caesar in Lincoln. Wheel in, no doubt. From the bottom of our arts here at Muffs and Mullets 2020, Corn Dog Customs and Way J Enterprises. 
We want to thank all the families and the men and women who have made that sacrifice, protecting our freedom, bringing you guys, you know, shitty cut rate entertainment about drinking Caesars and everything else. We got a 15% off code going on for the rest of the weekend. If you type in USA, you're going to get 15% off everything at shopnickyt.com. Check out the brand new red, white, and blue packs. And again, thank you so much to our servicemen and women that made that ultimate sacrifice.